I'm bringing it back to Japan. Ego wa karimasen. Ego wa karimasen. Nothing like it, folks. The All Star festivities in the air. Kevin Harlan here with partners Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Up next is the three point contest, the shot that's come to define the modern game. And we'll see some of the premier shooters in the game tonight. And unlike the dunk contest, very few judging controversies in this competition. The scoring system is pretty straightforward. Well, it's right there. Here we go with the rifleman, Chuck Person. So each player gets five racks along the arm, along with two balls at deep range, and 70 seconds on the clock to shoot all 27. Those deep shots are worth three points. The money balls on their racks are worth two, and the rest are one apiece. Additionally, each competitor makes one of their racks all money balls. So much of your total score comes down to you hitting that entire money ball rack. These guys have to be smart about where they place that one. Mm -mm. Now, this is an unpleasant start. No good on the deep ball. There's four. Six. Going too slow here. He needs to dial it up. At seven. He's at eight points. One rack remaining. That's four misses in a row. Off the mark, it's five in a row now. And out of time here. Finishing off the round with only eight points. There was just something off about him in that round. So here's Drexler now. And some players are jump shooters. Others use more of a set shot. Do you think one approach has an advantage in an event like this? Yeah, I think set shooters probably and typically have more of an advantage. They're not off the floor as much, doesn't take as much time, and not as much leg energy. Uh, so the set shooters maybe make out a little bit more in a competition. Womp, womp. That's one. Can't cash in on the money ball. Got to get all the shots off. What is going on? That's five in a row. He better get it together. No good on his sixth consecutive shot. And now he's just limping to the finish. Three racks down, two to go. Another one off the mark. That's nine in a row. And two. Gets the money ball. Ran out of time on the money rack. So he puts just four points on the board. Boy, I bet he wants a do-over on that performance. Well, you can tell he likes the corner shots, but he struggled mightily everywhere else on the floor. So it's Mark Price now. I wonder if players will give the two deep zones any extra attention or if they'll treat them like business as usual. I think they give him a little extra attention. You have to. I mean, the shot is just so different and so far. It's a lot of possible points you could put on the board. Misses on the money ball. In second, all by his lonesome. Six. And that equals the best score of this round. He might run out of time. And with that shot, he moves into sole possession of first place. He's on top. He's four for four on money balls. That makes it one of two from deep. Sixteen. That makes it 17. Can't get the money ball to fall. 
couldn't finish it off, but still put up an impressive number. He finishes the round with 17 points. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. So it'll be drives and Petrovic here. The door wide open right now. Two, one, go. There's three more to stay alive. Two more points to stick around. Can't sink the money ball there. He needs two more to stay within reach. Three points now. Now has four. Three bad racks in a row. Really tough to recover now. No good with his fourth in a row. His fifth consecutive miss. Yeah, he's struggling right now. He's losing his way here. That's seven misses in a row. This, this isn't good. Not pretty. His ninth in a row that doesn't fall. Ten straight misses. What's happening to him? He's missed his 11th straight. He's completely out of sync. His 12th miss in a row. Everything's going wrong. Just one wreck to go. He puts up a grand total of just four points. He might be a little embarrassed after that showing. Yeah, never really had a feel for his shot. You know, you come in and you're prepared to show your best. This was not his. And so here we go with Dana Barrows. And you can't afford to tighten up at this stage. All about staying relaxed and composed heading into this round. And I don't think you say that there isn't any pressure. There is pressure. Just embrace that and have fun with it. And then go do what you do. And now he's tied for third place. And that puts him in third. He's in position to advance. Six. Not an easy start here. Pick up the pace, young fella. Oh, that, that's really poor. He's getting cold. Five consecutive misses. He's at seven now. He's tied for second. Second place. He's got 11. That's 12. He could have taken more from that rack. Only got two points. He comes away with a total score of 15. He turned in a pretty good round right there, don't you think? And sadly, he had no luck from the deep zones, missing both of those challenging shots. And so we'll see Glenn Rice as the final shooter in this round. He knows just what he has to do here. In an event like this, Hitting some of those money balls is critical. And boy, do they add up. And you can feel the difference when you pick up that money ball to shoot it. As a competitor, you lock in. Three more points to stay in contention. Six. Only needs two more. That shot ties him for third. Hits the deep ball. That's 12. That's 13. He's behind on the clock. He needs to pick up the pace here. Two racks remaining. Misses for the fourth straight time. And that's going to put him in the tie for second. Can't get the money ball to fall. He comes away with a total of 15 points. Well, a very respectable performance from him there, guys. And any time it looked like he was starting to get into a good rhythm, he would just as quickly fall. And so here we go with Dana Barrows. By going first, he can put a lot of the pressure on the guys behind him if he posts a good score. 
Well, you know, sometimes it can surprise you how different a shooter looks here in the contest. Uh, many guys are accustomed to shooting in the flow of a game and have to adapt to being under the spotlight like this. Yeah, who, who's passing to you? Yo, where's the rhythm coming from? I got to run over to this rack and pick up this ball. And this one's got a bunch of colors on it. It's so much different. So practicing this event goes a long, long way. Six. Yeah, tough time getting going right now. Get on your horse. He's got to speed it up here. He misses his fourth straight. His fifth consecutive miss. No good on his sixth consecutive shot. And now really starting to get cold. He's got to speed up. Clock's ticking. That makes it one of two from deep. Ten points so far. Eleven. That's twelve. He finishes with a total score of 12 points. That's far below what he's capable of doing when he's on his game. And so we'll see Glenn Rice. He's going to need 12 to tie or can move in front. One. Can we get a rack attack back? He needs it. No good with his fourth in a row. Two. And that's two racks in a row that he struggled with. Seven more points and he'll tie it up. Six. Need five for the tie. Brings the money ball. Second deep ball goes down. Good, and now he has the lead. Knocking down the shots when it counts in this final round. And he's rising to the occasion. The fans are loving it, and he's in a great flow here. Only one rack left. That's four misses in a row. He finishes with 14 points on the board. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. So, it's Mark Price now. Here we go. This is it. He led all qualifiers. Now, can he emerge victorious in the finals? He'll need to match 14 points to top. There's his first. Can't cash in on the money ball. That's four misses in a row. Off the mark with five in a row now. No good on his sixth consecutive shot. That's seven consecutive misses now. He needs an adjustment. U-G-L-Y. He just can't get anything going. Three bad racks in a row. Really tough to recover now. Three. Five for him now. Pick up the pace, young fella. Eight more points for him to tie it up. That's seven. Here's eight. Six points away from the win. One rack to go here. Ten. And he comes away with 11 points in that run. Well, I, I didn't expect that score to be as low as it was. What about you guys? Well, the good part here is we saw some construction because with nine bricks in a row, you could build a pretty good house. And it's all wrapped up. A tremendous showing and a hard-earned victory for the winner of this three-point competition, Glenn Rice. And guys, this is always a highlight of the All-Star Weekend. No surprise.